Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Thundercats Ultimate Wily Cat from Super 7. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and help me to build my channel. Uh, finally, finally, we get the OG team in its completed form from Super 7. Uh, some of you might be saying, well, we already had the twins from the past, from the San Diego Comic-Con, which is true. I did have that two-pack. I sold it a long time ago, though. And then when Super 7 started releasing these figures um, and we were getting all of the Thundercats, I, I had to get these new updated figures. And they are updated and they look fantastic. Um... A little bit disappointing you don't get the slip cover and you don't get the mailer anymore uh, by the way it is storming outside of my house right now so if the lights keep flickering I apologize anyhow so we finally get kit and cat all we need is snarfer and we have the entire team uh, from the cartoon and you know just upon first look pulling it out of the plastic now because we don't get the mailers, they just come in the plastic like this. This is all we get now. So we don't even get the Thundercat slip cover, and we don't get the brown mailer. We just get uh, the figures like this, which is okay. However, because uh, it's Wily Kit and Wily Cat, and they were part of the OG team, uh, I do feel like uh, there should be some consistency there. But I understand they're trying to cut down due to inflation. So, let's get into this, man. We finally have Wily Cat. Uh, there's the back of the box, and there's a bio. It says, Wily Cat is a mischievous and agile young Thundercat known for his boundless curiosity and adventurous spirit. Alongside his sister, Wily Kit, he uses his cleverness, quick reflexes, and resourcefulness to keep up with the rest of the Thundercats. Wily Cat's space board, lasso, and grenade capsules all come in handy during their adventures. Despite their playful nature, the Thunder Kittens are loyal allies and integral members of the Thundercats. Um, not a bad image. A um, little bit distorted in my opinion. Uh, not quite cartoon accurate. So the image is fine. Whatever. Uh, here's the bottom of the box. Nice collector's packaging, so I will not destroy this packaging, even though I'm not one to care too much about the packaging. But when it comes to collector's figures, uh, I do keep the packaging. There's the top of the box. It's uh, taped there. I already cut the tape. And let's pull him out and pair him with his sister. Finally, the Thunder Kittens. Very exciting. Very excited to get this figure. And I gotta say, like, it... It looks really good. Uh, they did update it. It is different from the San Diego Comic-Con versions, um, from uh, the Club Third Earth, the Maddie Collectors. Um, so I was excited to get this. He is secured in the back here uh, with some clear uh, ties. So I'm going to cut those. Because I wasn't expecting that. I don't think Wily Kit was uh, secured in there. <laughs> so, so they care more about Wily Cat than Wily Kit. Anyhow, let's pull him out. He looks he looks fantastic. I mean, uh, the quality control on the figures has definitely um, improved since the days of the pandemic. Uh, that face looks beautiful. Very very cartoon accurate. Nice orange hair. Uh, the lines look great. I mean, just beautiful. I mean, if you compare this to the quality of control of, of Tigra, they need, a, they need a new updated Tigra figure. I was hoping with one of the new waves we were going to get um, young Tigra or um, old man Tigra, but we need an updated Tigra figure. But he looks, man, Wily Cat. And kit, they look fantastic. There he's from the back. I'm not seeing any quality control issues. No, like even the logo looks perfect and crisp. Uh, looks wonderful. Uh, so articulation, 
Arms go up that high. The head is on a ball joint. Oh, I'm not gonna pull, I will pull that off, but not right this second. Uh, his little skirt, that's, that's what it looks like underneath. Uh, the leg goes that high. I mean, the only disappointing thing about these figures is the articulation is not perfect. Like, look at that. His knee doesn't even go 90 degrees. Um, I'm all about the articulation. Brian Flynn has said in videos of Super 7 that he doesn't care that much about articulation or overly articulated figures. I don't want to misquote him. I'm, I'm all about the double-jointed knees and elbows. Uh, so the elbow about goes 90 degrees. There's a hinge in the wrist. I'm, I'm going to swap these hands out anyhow. But there's a hinge and that kind of just fell off there. Um, so the port is not very tight in his wrist there. Uh, there is rotation in the elbow. I just want to be very careful with this figure. Uh, you can do a nice straddle there. Uh, there is uh, hip rotation. There's rotation in the knee. Uh, there's a hinge in the ankle. Look at his boots. Just nice coloring on the boots. Like, very, very nice. And then we have ankle pivot, which I love. You can see that there. Nice, deep pivot. So you can put them on the surfboard. Uh, looks great. And once again, let's get a good look at that face. If you bought the whole wave, you get the extra head with the glowing eyes in the in the pack. Uh, let's pull out a surfboard. Looks great. Look at that beautiful Thundercats logo. One of the coolest logos ever made right there. Uh, there's the bottom of the surfboard. Um, it is different colors than Wiley Kits. And we also get a stand. We get the clear stand with like a dust effect. You can pop that on there like so. And that's on a ball joint so you can move that around. Yeah, put that on there. So you get a nice effect there. And yeah. Yeah. Here's the alternate head, which I kind of like. He has the open mouth. Uh, I think I'm going to display him with this head. Uh, him being uh, a little bit cheeky and mischievous. Oh, there's a quality control issue right there, just on his hair with the alternate head sculpt. Not a big deal, though. Looks like the black smudged a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can... Okay, there, that came off a little bit easier. Let's see how easy this one goes on. Yeah, there we go. A lot more fun there. The, the, the Thunder Twins were always getting into trouble. Uh, here he is, size comparison to lion -O. Uh I can't wait for Kid lion -O. That's going to be great to pair him with these guys. But, you know, lion -O's twice the size, obviously. Uh, looks great though. What else do we get? So we get Seems like they gave a lot more hands for him than they did with Wiley kit so we get uh, Two hands throwing the grenades or the little explosives so that I'll display him with one of those hands uh, then we get another set of open claw hands. Get two of those. And then you get... Uh, oh, looks like a weapon holding hand. So you get one of those for the lasso. And then they gave an additional hand with him holding um, right about before he's going to throw the grenade. So you get one of those hands as well. Uh, so you get quite a few options there. And then we have his lasso, which is sort of a cream color. Um, almost tan, but a very light tan cream color. 
and then you get it uh, retracted and you can port that on his belt like so see if that goes on there I had trouble getting Wiley kits on and it kept like falling off very easily but there it goes in like that let's swap out these hands um, let's see everybody's always right handed in the cartoons and comic books so I'll make him right handed as well and then he can hold the lasso with his right hand Oh, actually, let's switch it. He should hold the lasso with his left hand because his right hand will be his throwing hand. Not that it makes a difference, whatever your preference is. So this hand is a little bit more open, so I am actually going to do it with the right hand because just this hand holds it better, it seems. So I'll put that there. And... And then I'll have this hand throwing the explosives like so, which I like. So you get a nice fun effect and then the port is on the bottom of his feet. I don't like how they didn't put two pegs on here. Uh, they only put one. So they fall off the boards a little bit easy. Uh, I wish they would have given two pegs, but Throw them on the board like so. And he does have nice torso articulation, unlike the originals. They did not have torso articulation. And there you have it. Both the Thunder Twins. Wiley Kit and Wiley Cat. Looks great. And now we have the OG team. All we need is Snarfer uh, to complete the team. And then, and then we have all the Thundercats. And Claudus is coming out, which is great. I've always wanted a Claudus figure. I never had one in the LJN line. So it's fantastic. Uh, if you like the video, my friends, please like and subscribe. I highly recommend these figures if you are a Thundercats fan. Um, this is the only line besides the LJN that has given us the complete original team. Uh, Bandai gave us the newer uh, Thundercats team, but we never got the complete team uh, from the LJN uh, era or the original cartoon. Uh, Thundercats ho, and God bless you all. Thank you very much.